This is the 2024 Ford Mustang GT Dark Horse, and uh, I am going to get a chance to do a lap in it at Road America, but first we're going to do a quick rock around and learn about the highlights. And this is Dave Rivers who's going to do it for us. Okay, yeah, go ahead. It. Yeah, yeah. so Dark Horse is, uh, up first off, 24 Mustang is all new. Uh, seventh gen. Seventh generation. Uh, this is the fourth generation modified Coyote V8 5 liter motor, uh, 100 horsepower per cylinder. So it's really 500 horsepower. horsepower out of a naturally aspirated engine. Wow. Engineering team went to work. Uh, they got more air in through the motor. It's calibrated differently. Uh, base GT is about 480. Uh, similar motor or same motor, uh, just calibrated a little bit differently. Yeah. The yeah. Horse, right? So uh, this is the performance pack. It's got a splitter on the front. All this is different. The, the whole front fascia. And Are these balance. scoops part performance pack as well? Uh, nope, that's standard. That's standard dark horse. Yeah, yep. It's got high performance uh, summer tires on it. Yeah, Trofeo R tires do not mess around. Bigger Brembo brakes on the performance pack. Absolutely. Dark horse, new logo. All the sheet metal on the outside, save maybe the center part, is all new. The belt really? line's been lowered, uh, so the belt line's lowered. Okay. You've got bigger haunches on the back. Yeah, real, sure, real, sure. Real You're talking this width here, yeah? Yeah, that's all, that's been bumped down. More chiseled exterior, they've still got the rear sequential tail lamps, but the tail lamps have been chiseled out. Okay. Uh, the active valve, quad exhaust. Yeah. Lower balance on a dark horse is different. Um, the spoiler. Yeah. So it's got a gurney flap uh, yep. that adds to the performance. That's part of the performance. And that's a massive gurney flap yeah. too, man. It can be removed. And then just lower body, body panels for the dark horse. You're talking about this cladding down here, yeah? Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Recaro seats on the inside. Manual transmission. It's got the blue ember. Uh, now the camera gear is mine. Um, yeah. But uh, otherwise, yeah. Stitching, blue stitching, uh, manual transmission, the Tremec uh, manual trans, and the uh, pull-up um, uh, electronic uh, uh, brake. Well, I'm excited for a ride. Thank you very right. much. Thank you, man. So we just got a quick, slightly windy walk around with the brand manager of the Ford Mustang Dark Horse, David Rivers. Now we're in the car with an engineer, Adam Brecker. And he's gonna talk to us a little bit more about the dynamics of what makes the 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse stand out. So we're already on a brand new platform. This is the seventh generation Ford Mustang. All of them are all new for 2024. Ford Mustang GT still has a five liter V8, rocks 480 horsepower. But now this Dark Horse has more power, but that's not all. Yeah, so you get a lot of track focused um content so with the base dark horse this one we're in is a handling package with the base dark horse you get differential cooler transmission cooler you get an engine oil cooler um, you get the tremec transmission or the optional 10 speed uh, and then when you step up to the handling package like we're in now you get the 305 315 trofeo tires um, staggered but only slightly that staggered. is a lot of tire it's, on the front it's a lot of tire in the front you also get um, adjustable top mounts so that you get adjustable camber um, adjustable camber adjustable camber so now is that is that hand done or is that a push up hand, hand done yep okay um, so you can set it up for track use when you get to the track we have uh, recommended specifications that get you the most out of the vehicle um, and you also get uh, unique springs, uh, Magneride tuning. Uh, Magneride is standard on the Dark Horse. And you also get a different rear stay bar as well. So uh, you also get smaller, a, a smaller stay bar. Uh, it, is a, it is a larger solid stay bar for more rotation on such fat tires. Oh, um, okay. With the Max Strut multi-link rear here that we've got the integral link. So we, we step up to, um, it's a solid bar that's got, it gets you a little bit more rotation so that um, for your like, break and turn on corner entry and your throttle exit, it's uh, nice and neutral with such a big rear tire. Okay. And we also spent a, a lot of time tuning the Magneride to make sure that uh, you get a nice, certainly in, in sport and track mode, nice stable rotation to make sure that, uh, you know, you can make the most of the tire you got. All that specific tuning, first thing I think about is a car that I have a lot of love for, the 2012 uh, Boss Mustang. Uh huh. Yeah. 
Is this the seventh generation Mustangs Boss Mustang? So this is, um, I would say the Dark Horse is a lot similar in terms of what we want to get out of it to the, the Mach 1 that we released at the end of S550. Okay. Um, so this is your track focused car. You've got all the coolers to make sure that you've got the endurance for it. Yes. I think Boss 302 is also a very special vehicle. And well, because there was Boss 302 and then there was the Laguna Seca Laguna package. Laguna Seca. So, which kind of did that extra handling package work. Right. And I think, uh, you know, much like Laguna, we've got the aero and we've got the tire and all sort of the unique features here. But yeah, this is our, this is a track focused vehicle. That's a fantastic sound from the V8. Yeah, and you can change. So that was that was the quieter or that was the louder? So that's normal mode. That's normal mode. Yeah, so you can go to sport. Um, oh, you can hear it even just there at yeah. steady state. And you can also, if for instance, you'd like your neighbors to have a quiet start in the morning as well. Yes, we don't know any of these neighbors. So, <laughs> so you consider this the most track focused seventh generation Mustang there is right now? Yes, this is the most track focused seventh generation Mustang there is right now. We have spent a lot of time and energy making sure that our customers, when they take it to the track, because I hope they do, have an excellent experience. I mentioned Boss Mustang. How does this compare to GT350? So compared to GT350, so right, we're still in a Coyote motor. Right. Um, but we've got a lot of the same um, parts pedigree and learning that uh, GT350 brought in. So clearly it's cross cross-plane V8 instead of a flat-plane V8. Yep. And it's 5 liter, not a 5.2 liter. Yep. But your horsepower is nudging quite close to what the GT350 had. Nudging quite close, and it's a very drivable motor, right? You got a lot of torque out of the corner. Good mid-range. Yeah, yeah, good mid-range. But then handling-wise, you know, Magna Ride suspension, um, going with a really sticky tire yep. um, with the Trofeo, you know, those those were GT350 levels thing yes. with the S550. Yeah, so we, we did a lot of learning from GT350 and then into Mach 1, um, picking sort of the best features that we thought from that platform. And I think a lot of that same understanding and learning that we got from that comes over to this platform to keep it, keep it very track focused and make sure that, uh, you know, our customer gets the best that we know how to put on the car. Is there anything about the platform itself, the actual structure that allowed you guys to do anything different or anything better? So the rear suspension now includes the drift brake um, and we've also got uh, a new software algorithm for Magnaride. Oh, that's so glorious. The sport exhaust, oh, that. You That's get, proper. You also get no lift shift, which is pretty nice. Ah, <laughs> yes, yes. For the drag aficionados among us. And, you know, it actually comes quite a bit in handy, so uh, on track as well. So, like, when, oh, sure. when you're a gingerman, there's that, uh, so the kink off to the right, I guess that's what turn four, almost five. You can get ah, your yep, th yep, you can yep. get your three, four shift in with just a little bit of steering wheel. Angle yeah, and sure. Won't unsettle anything. Gingerman is a is a more local track in Michigan, and it, it's a great little great little place. So the the some of the changes we made for Magna Ride yeah. that allowed us to get here, right? So we've got um, slightly different algorithms that came in that um, allow some over the air update capabilities. Um, but with that, there were a couple of new algorithms that we were able to exploit for ride comfort to go with the performance that we're offering. So the, being Magna Ride, of course, it's adaptive. And so you're saying in the comfort mode, it's still relatively comfortable. Yeah, in normal mode, like we're in now. No, normal mode, sorry. Yeah, in normal mode, like we're in now, I think this is a very dry, a very livable car for longer highway cruises. Um, it's very comfortable. You're not getting beat up by the fact that you've got a car that has a lot of track capability. We've got stiffer springs, yep. front and rear, yep. compared to the standard seventh generation Mustang. Yep. How much stiffer are we talking about? Like ten percent, twenty percent, fifty percent? Uh, yeah, it's in the it's in the ten percent range. Okay, so we just you you just up the level up just a little bit. Yeah. So the the springs are uh, very similar in terms of rate to what we had released for Mach One handling package. Um, that on S550. On S550. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're allowing some some absorption for the bumpier roads, but then keeping the body quite flat. Yeah, and that's one of the things that we, uh, one of the performance enablers you get from a Magna Ride system, right? You don't right. have to overspring or over damp the car significantly to make sure that you've got um, the track performance. 
So, you know, we basically get to use the best qualities of the tire and the platform to make it something you're you're gonna wanna drive every day, and then when you get to the track, you uh, you can crush. And then what, the, the idea of adding the drift brake, what was the motivation behind that? So we partnered with uh, Vaughn Gitten, and I think that's something we really wanted to uh, bring in as our brand partnership with him. Um, it's something he's had a lot of input on. I mean, I know I've driven it. It's just a super fun addition to the product. Uh, it's something that uh, you know we get to play around with, and we hope our customers really enjoy. Now, I actually tried that on a Ford Focus RS. Okay, yep. Is it same concept? Uh, same concept. Um, it's a slightly different implementation, and we've done a little bit of difference in terms of tuning. I got to play with both at uh, you know over the course of my uh, work at Ford, and I think what we've done in the Mustang is have something with a little a little bit more modulation than we used ah, to have. Ah, okay. So, yeah, that so was there, a bit of an on-off switch. In that yeah, one. yeah. So there's a little more modulation when it comes to um, you know maybe you're on a wet surface versus a dry surface you have a little bit a little bit better uh, ability to play with the precise amount that you're looking for and i think vaughn was very helpful in terms of his feedback you know given the fact that yes we occasionally drift cars but that's not really our employment <laughs> <laughs> well adam thank you so much for giving us some insights on this Absolutely. car i mean before before we finish though is there anything else that we missed that we should really touch on the only other thing that i think we didn't talk about is um Fox body gauges, which is the part that I really enjoy. <laughs> that, that retro moment in the car. The retro moment in the car, and I think my favorite part is when you go into a tunnel or it's night out, the glow's background is green like it was back <laughs> in the day. Back in the day, yes. For folks of a certain age. Yes, we've we've had some of our younger engineers get a little bit confused by that, but <laughs> we won't fault them. Right. Well, Adam, thank you so much for giving us a taste of the 2024 seventh generation Ford Mustang GT Dark Horse. Absolutely, it's been my